Hey everybody, it's Aaron with Mountain Biking Adventures. If you guys watched my video last week, this is the Let It Rip Trail where I left off. We just climbed up the east side perimeter trail is kind of where we're leaning towards right now. And we're gonna go scope out this rest of this east side perimeter trail. Still gotta open this up a little bit. But once we get back here, you can kind of see how, how well it opens up and it starts to grade out or uh, starts to kind of look like an actual trail. Remember, this is all rough cut right now. We still have to do some things like this, obviously, where we open this up and uh, still have to pack this in. Got to fill in the side a lot. This is a lot of organic material right here. And uh, we're going to pull some more dirt. It's that way it buries the rest of the organic material, but there's also hard surface to actually ride on and not, not the soft stuff, but it is packing pretty good, so. Take a real good note. This is right on the property line. We're using every inch that we can. So Joe from Colorado Kid helped me out right here quite a bit. Once we got here, we didn't have to shelf the trail as gnarly as back over there. So the progress got a lot faster. I think that ridge over there is going to be probably the hardest one to work with because it's just so abrupt and and it just had so much vegetation to fight. So and I've already been trying to jig out some uh, drainage things so the water's just not running all the way down the trail. I'll probably have to add more of those as I go. Right up here, it starts calming down on the grade. So you have a, I don't know, what is that? 30 yards of punchy pain. <laughs> and boom, we're pretty much at the top of this ridge. But if you turn around right here, great view. We're thinking maybe a little picnic bench or something right here. Be kind of a good break spot. Pretty sick. Okay guys, so that was the east side perimeter trail. And then right here, we don't have the name for this trail. And anyway, I'm gonna show you the progress we made on this. Can't stress enough, this is all rough cut stuff. We're gonna keep coming back here and refining it, packing it in and adding features and all sorts of cool stuff and constantly making these things better and better and better. And as we ride them, we'll get to get a feel for them and then we'll make our improvements there. Let's go check this one out again. I'm looking for another cool name. Something might inspire me as I'm building and we'll see what happens. Starts out with a nice steep downhill. Between these, this is going to be more advanced trail. Thinking about a little baby ladder drop, maybe right here. And what's nice is this section actually is pretty packed in already. This is really good dirt to work with. I may have to berm it out a little more so it catches you if we, because you might come in with a lot of speed if we have a drop there. 
And this is where um, professional Kyle and Colorado Kid, Joe and Kyle were out here helping me out a lot. They're starting to cut in all this, putting a little bit of their own character on the trail. This section, I think, is going to be really sick. They'll be able to kind of ride around, maybe kick out the rear tire for your fancy folks. And then there's kind of a drop right there. Or you can roll that, though. But I'm also thinking a little booter right here to kind of, for those that like to maybe send a tiny gap. This right here is a pretty wicked berm. Still got to fix that up quite a bit. And this, coming out of the berm, hopefully we'll have enough speed to carry up at least the majority of this small climb. There's already kind of a natural pump roller here. So I might add one more, possibly two more, to hopefully just carry your speed up here. Joe really cut through here a lot. This is where it's, I love this. I could kind of burn these out slightly, hopefully keep some speed. So I think this is where I'm gonna do my work today. I'm gonna to build a little tiny drop right here. So this is where I'll do some of my time lapse. Got another tool casualty. The rake head popped right out of the handle. Kind of sucks. I have a feeling that my uh, weapon of choice is probably also gonna lose its handle pretty soon. It feels pretty weak. And again, this thing's been in the family for a super long time. That's the original hammer, or the handle. And you can look how many, look at the head of this thing. Talking about limping it along until it breaks, huh? Anyway, I think that's all I'm going to do right now for this uh, little drop. So I moved on to the next little section here. So I think I'm going to kind of burn this out, take all this nasty loose stuff. And that way, have a little something to kind of come up on that side. And I got to fix up this little berm right here. A couple roots I got to take out. One right here, nasty root. And it's going to kind of pop back up here. I already started working on this berm a touch and it's going to go right down into that area. Very nice. Clean this one up a little bit more. And that's nice. It's not a berm that's intended to go real high. As you're practically going straight, it's just going to be a little pump, berm, berm, flow right out of this thing. Looks like it's going to develop a little bit of character right here. It's going to be really cool. Kind of show you what's going on here for the rest of this because I'm going to go grab some lunch. I'm going to kind of build a little berm rip back this way over here then we can kind of burn back left hope you guys could see the flags I'm carrying a broken tool out of here and a bunch of gear so bear with me and then we'll come up here try to make use of this grade and we'll have a nice little berm to pitch you right back down 
and we're gonna go off right here and kind of wall ride back up and then we'll come right down through here and that take you out to the road and there's the exit right here and there's a little culvert down there gotta take this bad boy back I appreciate you guys coming along for the uh, the adventure the adventure building if you want to make life an adventure grab a mountain bike and ride or grab some trail building tools and build some trails thank you